Hello there. Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer at St. John in the Wilderness. It's so wonderful to have a few of our, uh, our new parishioners here <laughs> joining us. We are in the rector's garden and uh, we have our masks on. I'm hoping to get one that's uh, maybe uh, green for the season after Pentecost. Might be fun. And uh, we're excited to say our prayers today and we hope that you'll join us online and know that we'll be here uh, outside in this space or uh, under the tent Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. for morning prayer and 4.30 p.m. for evening prayer. Pardon my hat, uh, but it's for the best. And so the service will begin. If you have your Book of Common Prayer, it's on page 115. And we'll take some time to pray here as we think about evening and the night that is before us. Let us stand. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, our Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Page 118. We say together the Fos Hilaron. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. We can be seated for our psalm this evening, which is Psalm 77. You can find Psalm 77 on page 693 in the Book of Common Prayer. We will say the psalm responsively by whole verse. I will cry aloud to God. I will cry aloud and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hands were stretched out by night and did not tire. I refused to be comfortable. I think of God. I am restless. I ponder and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am troubled and I cannot I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune with my heart in the night. I ponder and search my mind. Will the Lord cast me off forever? Will he no more, sh no more show his favor? Has his loving kindness come to an end forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? And I said, my grief is this, the right hand of the Most High has lost its power. I will remember the works of the Lord and call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your acts. 
and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God, the God who works wonders and have declared, declared your power, power among, among the people. By your strength you have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and trembled. The very depths were shaken. The clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters, yet your footsteps were not seen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus and his disciples came to the crowd, a man came up to him and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and he suffers terribly, for often he falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples and they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, O faithless and perverse generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked him and the demon came out of him and the boy was cured instantly. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, why could we not cast it out? He said to them, because of your little faith. For truly I say to you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible to you. Here ends the reading. We will stand and continue with the Magnificat on page 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has lifted down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B, page 122. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever blessed Virgin Mary and Saint John and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in your steadfast faith and love, that through your grace we may proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion for the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. For Simone, Scott. Ian. We'll continue with the general Thanksgiving, page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with your lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you both very much for joining me for evening prayer. And it's just really nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and to actually be, you know, in fellowship again and to, uh, to gather in person with people whom we love and who are part of our lives. So I hope you all as well will join us at nine o'clock or at 4.30. And uh, we'll continue on getting to know this service and introducing others to it. And it's a wonderful thing. And it's easy to praise God on a day like this mm -hmm. when you're outside in a beautiful place. So go in peace. Air high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>